Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your WordPress website to work with email using SMTP. RuPal by default has PHP mailer disabled. And what this means is you cannot send emails from WordPress or have your contact forms or any type of forms that send emails from your website. They won't work because RootPal and a lot of other hosting companies disable the PHP mailer function. The reason why we do disable the PHP mailer function is because a lot of websites that get hacked, uh, they'll have malware infect their website. And the first thing the malware tries to do is send spam emails from your website. This not only hurts your email accounts and your limits, but it also can hurt your website reputation. It can hurt your the IP address on the server. It can blacklist the IP address. So there's a lot of you know bad things that can happen while using PHP Mailer. But if you own your own server and you want to use PHP Mailer, that's fine. It's still insecure and it's still not good to use it. Um, and if you say, oh, you know, what about if there's limits on the domain? Well, that still is going to hurt the person's email address limits and it's it's going to cause a problem if your site gets hacked. So it's just better overall to use email SMTP uh, through WordPress. And so I'm going to be showing you how to install that and get it working. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our WordPress website. So I'm going to be using rootpaldemo.com. And we're going to click on WordPress, which is the WordPress toolkit. And I'm going to log in to the back end. And I'm using the login button to log into the back end uh, in WordPress toolkit. And we got to find a plugin. So I'm going to be uh, using, I'm going to type in SMTP. And I'm going to be using uh, the post SMTP mailer slash email log plugin. There's a bunch of different other ones you can use. There's literally like so many and you can choose whatever, which one you want to use. You can do this one right here. A lot of 2 million people have installed it and used this one. Um, however, it has some limitations on the email log and it wants you to pay for Zoho and some other services. So I, I'm not a fan of this one. It does work really well. We have clients that use it and works. But this one has an email log. Um, it's not as easy to set up, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to use this one because it has the email log and this one doesn't. It makes you makes you pay for the pro plan for the email log. So I'm going to click activate. And there it is right there. So we're going to go to post SMTP and we could start the wizard in just a second. So the first thing we need to do is the next thing. Sorry, not the first thing is we need to go back to our website and we need to create an email address for connecting this SMTP. And so I'm going to go to mail accounts and I'm going to create a new email address. And for my main, so this is the email that's going to go out from your WordPress website. So, you know, you can have it be support, you can have it be sales, you can have it be help, or you can have it be info, which is kind of, you know, everything. So I like info, so I'm gonna choose info and I'm gonna create a password and copy that password because we'll need it right away and click okay. So the next step, if you're using Cloudflare or a CDN provider, or you're not using Plesk DNS, the DNS uh, here, right? I'm not using Plesk DNS because it says domain name is not resolvable. So it's not pointing, I'm not using the DNS provided by Plesk. So you need to configure your mail correctly for SMTP at whatever DNS provider you're using. If you're using Cloudflare, you need to make sure you have SSL uh, installed using Let's Encrypt, which is right here. And you need to make sure this is working. Mail access, IMAP, POP, SMTP, you need to make sure it's secured. And you need to make sure your Cloudflare is set up correctly to accept and process mail. I have a video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to connect your mail to Cloudflare correctly through Plesk. And it's actually for cPanel or any other hosting portal, right? But 
because Cloudflare makes it a little bit difficult to make email with the hosting company you're using work. Unless you're using G Suite or Outlook, then it's pretty easy because you just add the MX records and whatever. So I'm going to go back to Rupal Demo and I'm going to go back to my mail accounts. And I'm gonna click this little icon button, which shows you how to add it to Outlook or Mail or iPhone or iPad or whatever, right? And so I'm gonna click manual setup just to get the ports that I need to use for SMTP, which the port is gonna be 465. So now we're gonna go back and now we have everything. We have the username, we have the email account, we have the password. We're gonna click start the wizard. And so the email address is going to come from info at rootpaldemo.com. The name is main, you know, we'll call it root pal demo form. I don't know, or site, because this is the name it's going to come from and send from. We're going to click next. It's going to ask for the outgoing mail server host name. So this is set up as mail.root paldemo.com and I know it's going to say rupaldemo.com is the outgoing mail server and this is true if you use Plesk DNS if you use the Plesk DNS and you're pointing using rupal's name servers or your hosting name servers whatever the host provides for you um, if you're using Cloudflare DNS or you're an outside DNS provider you most likely are, you will, no, sorry, you will have to have it set up as mail.rootpaldemo.com or not, not, it's mail.your, whatever your da domain name is, right? Because it needs to point to the IP address and the MMX record needs to point to mail.yourwebsite.com, right? Whatever. So it is this for, if, if you use Cloudflare and I am using Cloudflare right now. So I'm going to click next. It's going to text the connectivity. And we'll just give it a second. And it automatically selected the default 25 port, which is non SSL. I wanted to use SSL, so I'm going to select 465 uh, SMTP. And I'm going to use password. Requires username and password. That's correct. So make sure you have it like this. Then click next. Then the username is going to be info at rootpaldemo.com. It's just your email address, whatever email address you set up. Here's the password we generated. And I'm going to click next. And select a notification service when an email has failed to deliver. Um, this is kind of cool. So let's say... Uh, you know, if an email fails to deliver because you sent it to a random email address, you can do it. You can use Pushover, which is some app you download on your phone that tells you uh, notifications are wrong or not notification. It'll send a notification through your phone. You can download it on your iPhone or Android and it'll tell you, hey, there was an error with your website or something. Or you can use Slack or it can email you when there's something that uh, has an issue. I'm not going to use this right now. I, I don't or I'm just going to leave it as email. I'm not going to use any of the other services. So we're just going to click next and we're going to click finish. So look, it says right here, um, send yourself a test email to make sure everything is working. Post SMTP V2 includes new feature called mailer type. I recommend to change it to test post SMTP with, with the value PHP mailer. We don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to click finish. And we'll send a test email. Let's send it to my email. And boom, it was delivered. Awesome. So let's see if I got it. And I did get it. Cool. So I did get the email. It said my message was delivered. And now SMTP is working like a charm. So one other thing I want to talk about before ending the video is the email log. So if you go to the email log right here, you can actually see the email log of all your emails going in or out, um, or sorry, going out 
and uh, also coming in if you use a contact form, I guess. Uh, so you can see how the solution, all good mail sent, all good mail sent. If you go to your dashboard, I believe there's a quick view too. Um, right here. So yeah, there's a quick view too, or it shows two emails sent. You can also uh, go to email log right here. Postman is configured and has delivered zero emails and tells you, so you can click right here and click the email log and just see everything. So the other plugin charged you for the email log. This one doesn't. And uh, yeah, I mean, you. so if you do want WordPress email to work, if you're using a cron job that connects to WordPress, you will need to use a SMTP plugin for your email to work. It will not work unless you have it set up like this. We have disabled it. We will not be turning it back on for anybody. We, it is a security risk and it damages the server, it damages the reputation of the IP address and it hurts it for everyone. So if you do, if you don't want to do this, you know, then you'll have to buy a dedicated server and then you can have your PHP mailer enabled yourself. And if your site gets hacked, then it sucks. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or you, you need support or you need help with setting up your SMTP, create a ticket at RuPal. We could probably do it for you in the, you know, within 24 hours. Um, so just, yeah, contact us if you have any issues. Thank you. Bye.